It was a rainy and stormy start to our Sunday, especially early this morning. A lot of rainfall in and around northwest Florida and some areas north of Bruton and south of Evergreen seeing a good batch of rain at around two inches or greater. Other spots seeing around one to two inches or even less in other areas. But overall, good batch of rainfall from those storms this morning. Now the front is pushing all the rainfall out of the area and bringing the cloud cover with it. You see the clouds are kind of split across the News 5 viewing area, and you can see that on our camera network, see our WKRG News 5 camera. Looking off to the northwest, no cloud cover there. It's beautiful. Dew points now dropping to the mid-30s, and the current temperature at around 57 degrees. So have a northwest wind at 13 miles per hour. Beautiful sight from the Grand Hotel at Point Clear. Just a few clouds. Should have a gorgeous sunset here shortly. 54 degrees, our current temperature, with northwest winds at 10 miles per hour. And we still have good winds at north northwest, 13 miles per hour of Pensacola, but the cloud cover is still there. Again, that will continue to push out of the area. It's 55 degrees, and dew points will also continue to drop off as well. Temperature is sitting very mild right now, going to get cooler overnight, especially 52 right now in Monroeville, 54 in Leakesville, 58 in Dolphin Island, 55 in Destin, 54 degrees in Molino. And winds have been gusty at times, still sustained winds right now between 10 and 15 miles per hour for many spots. Uh, still pretty gusty Dolphin Island, 22 miles per hour right now and gusts even higher uh, in those coastal spots. Now throughout the rest of tonight, we are going to see some pretty chilly temperatures. Temperatures dropping really cool into the low to mid 30s for several spots and here are temperatures dropping into the mid 30s by the time we hit those early morning hours. But because the gusty winds will continue into tonight, take a look at these overnight lows uh, in terms of our wind chill values dropping into the upper 20s for several spots. I can see some spots even getting to the mid 20s for wind chill values. Definitely going to need some extra layers heading out the door tomorrow morning. Right around freezing for a lot of our northern spots. Almost 10 degrees below average. Closer to the coastline, closer to 40 degrees. Right along I-10, you'll sit into the mid-30s heading out the door tomorrow morning. The good news is you won't need the Green and Phillips umbrella. The rain has moved out, dry air moves in. Maybe just a couple of clouds, if that even. Should be a beautiful day. Highs reaching into the mid-50s, lots of sunshine. And we'll start, again, very chilly, so make sure to bundle up. Now, it'll be chilly, then cool throughout this week. We'll see a gradual warming trend, uh, but not by a ton. Um, we'll see our cool temperatures in the early half of the week. You see mid-30s through Tuesday to 40 degrees by Wednesday and the upper 40s by Thursday and Friday. And that will be ahead of our next rain chance. Very dry for the first half of the week. We see that in our moisture forecast. No rain to start the week, but then by the time we get into around Thursday and into Friday, Moisture starts to draw back into the area. I'm expecting our next big rain chance into next weekend. Again, small rain chances, but big compared to no rain that we'll see for the first half of the week. So we'll be watching out for that. And rain chances stay low through Wednesday, then start to gradually increase by the time we hit to the end of the week and into the next weekend. You see very cool, though, to start this week. High sitting in the mid to upper 50s. Some spots are in the low 60s by Tuesday. Then small rain chances pick up into next weekend. We'll have our next chance of showers and storms on Sunday. Overall, very chilly start, mid-30s overnight tonight.